Connecting with your world, here's Stace Hall with the VTV Basin Bulletin. Hi everybody, it's fall time here on Basin Bulletin. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Stace Hall and over the next few minutes you can bet we'll keep you up on what's going down in the valley. First on this week's show, local elections are coming up and it'll soon be time to make your voice heard. The main voting day is Tuesday, November 3. Here are the locations for voting in Duchesne and Roosevelt. In Duchesne, it's at the city offices, that's 165 South Center. And in Roosevelt, you can vote at the Crossroads Senior and Community Center. That address is 50 East, 200 South. You can find a special VTV political program presenting all mayoral Naples City and Vernal City candidates on, found on the ballot. Here's a preview of that program. You'll hear from each candidate who responded to VTV's interview request. Uh, I see as far as uh, continued things that to, to work in the city of Naples as, as a positive thing. Uh, we have a lot of potential for positive growth and development. I think we need to get a, a, gri a grip on uh, our spending and our desires instead of wanting to to bond and spend and turn that bill over to our children. I've been a part of some rec uh, recreation activities and that would be being a member of the rec board, a representative of Vernal City Council. Uh, we've improved. We've, you've seen the community center that was built. Also we're looking to improve youth programs throughout the valley. You all are aware that uh, we're building a new city hall. I understand that that's been a lot of discussion throughout the community. And I'd like to address that for just a few minutes. We have started this project a number of years ago. And the city council has set aside uh, $4.5 million of its own funding. We also have a grant money, which we don't have to repay. And we have a number of low interest loans. With all that and with the economic conditions we have right now, cost of construction, the cost of materials, everything is low. The cost of our borrowing money is low. This is a perfect opportunity to provide Vernal City and our entire community a building that will serve our needs for the next 35 years. I'm running for public office because I feel I can truly offer some things to Vernal City to possibly enhance their current and future positions. My 38 years of business experience has taught me a lot. And here's the rundown for voting in those communities on the 3rd of November. You can vote anytime in Naples from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Naples City Office. On the Vernal side, same time frame, 7 to 8, with two location options to cast your vote, Vernal Junior High and Western Park. Vernal City voters can also vote early through the 30th of October at the Vernal City offices. To watch the complete political preview, find the link on our website, that address, www.vtvchannel6.com. Now for community notes. The Dynamites have been busy running around helping various Vernal and Naples businesses kick off their establishments. But the Dynamites weren't alone for the new subway location next to Cafe Rio. They received some furry, jazzed up help from the Jazz Bear, the mascot of Utah's pro basketball team. From there, the group in green moved on to Maverick in Naples. With the tagline Adventures First Stop, Maverick also has stores in Vernal and Roosevelt. The Naples location is Maverick's 200th store. Its first location in Afton, Wyoming opened in 1928. And they're ready to go in Naples. Other ribbon cuttings include Bell's next to Cal Ranch store. That's a clothing department store. And Sassy Embroidery and Graphics which is now located in the heart of town on Main Street. A couple of days before you cast your vote, daylight saving time ends. So set your clock back one hour on Sunday the 1st. Halloween is at the end of this week, so let's examine some of the eerie events scheduled in the basin. In Roosevelt, the downtown parade for kids aged 1 through 12 starts at 3 on Main Street. There will be lots of businesses out to treat the kids. In Vernal, kids get all decked out and go to the rec center on Halloween day at 4 for the Halloween Mayor's Walk. 
The fall carnival will follow shortly thereafter at 5. All kinds of activities are planned there. Other activities in Vernal include on the 30th, the 30th Friday at 6 p.m., it's the Walk of the Witches for witches big and small. And on the 31st, it's the last night to get lost in the haunted Bluebell Corn Maze. That's what's going down in the valley on this edition of Basin Bulletin. Have a simply exhilarating day, everybody. Thanks for watching VTV Channel 6. Be safe on Halloween, kids, and we'll see you next time.